Alrighty then, YouTube. Here we are at the shop. This is the project. The jet ski donor sitting there in the background. It's uh, this boat's a 16 foot modified V. It's a true V bottom, front to rear. There's no flat spot at all on this boat. Uh, it's semi V all the way back. The beam on it, it's real wide. I'm not sure what it is. Like six foot at the top. Pole to pole, I'd say it's about six foot beam. This is the tacked up, ready to weld intake shoe. The base plate and the 90 degree pump plate are both quarter inch aluminum. Welded at a perfect 90 on a triple pass each side. This is actually my first time welding aluminum. Came out pretty decent. And the ducting is formed with eighth inch aluminum, uh, hand peened, the ball peen hammer on this piece of wood here. You can see the rounded edges is where I did most of the work. Came out pretty nice. A lot of work went into this. I'm pretty happy with the way it's turning out now. I had to use one inch solid aluminum stock for those dowels that you see, those four dowels for the pump mount. Uh, drilled holes in them, machined them to fit the pump just perfectly. And to get your circle cut out, what I did was I used the pump. Uh, this was this is the wear ring here. This was all cracked up when I pulled this off. So this is actually a new one installed that you see here. Before I installed it, I used it to trace my circle. And then I drilled holes all the way around the perimeter. And then jigsawed the area out and then took a a high speed grinder to etch the area into perfect round. And that's what it looks like with the pump on it. It's a nice 90 degree fitment. You can actually see you can actually see that it warped when I welded the main triple pass on each side. I clamped it as best as I could. Uh, I don't have a proper welding table so it was, I was unable to clamp it on all the areas to really hold it flat. But the reason that I didn't correct this warp when I started building the duct, I could have easily, this stuff's real flexible, just bent it flat and then tacked the ducting on to correct that warp. But if you see the rod plate sitting flat and the pump sitting flat, it actually is going to help the, the, the flow of water enter this intake the way that it's raised in the front. Here's the intake at the end of the day, all welded up. came out decent I'm gonna actually go back and uh, weld it from the inside because uh, this piece can't leak and with the way these welds went I'm not 100% sure so I'm gonna go back in there and see what I can do with Filling all the seams from the inside. Here's a shot of the intake with the boat flipped over upside down. Just the rod plate extending off the back. Like I said, I'm probably going to cut that. This thing's not going to need a rod plate. And there's the two brackets bolted in, which is the start of my intake grate. These two brackets. I wanted to bolt them in, in their permanent. Uh, you know fixation before I begin tack welding this thing together because I wanted this thing to fit as precisely as it can so this is the way to do it make sure that the you know the brackets are cut to fit and modified just right so that they fit as, as best as they can flush mount bolts I drilled them to uh, a note to make for anyone that's going to be doing this type of work making your own jet intake system like this from scratch. The intake grate is extremely important. Uh, I would absolutely say you do not want to make this thing out of aluminum. If you look online, all of the failures people have had was because they made them out of aluminum. And when you weld aluminum, you, it starts out with a cold weld. 
and when you're only welding distances half an inch little beads it doesn't give a chance for the material to heat properly with these spool gun units and you'll end up with bad welds and there's pictures online of people that had made their own aluminum intake grates and they actually came apart got sucked in through the pump and grenaded the, sh the whole intake shoe and the motor actually jumped out of their mounts on several occasions that's something you, you if you're going to be making your own intake grate do it out of steel here's a look at the grate before uh, the welding i wanted to show what the the rakes are actually how they were made it was basically just stainless flat stock half inch by three sixteenths you can see how the it's notched to fit onto that mount bracket there should come out pretty nice We had to fast forward time a little bit here. I didn't realize that I didn't show the grate after it was complete until I moved on. So that that purple paint you see in the top corner is something that's gonna be in the next video. We're not gonna show that yet. So here's the final fit to the grate. Tried to smooth it out as best as I could. Take some of the bulk of the welds away to help the water flow. I need uh, the ramp of the hull here to meet the ramp of this bracket to also meet the ramp of the intake duct down below. Try and make that as seamless as possible. So that's the the finished great fitment there came out real nice nice and straight cleaning everything up getting ready to flip it over and take a look at the engine get that thing stuck in there this will probably wrap up the first video now uh, stay tuned for the next one in the next couple of weeks if you didn't subscribe already do that now so that uh, you won't miss it when it's posted up and in your recommended videos so yeah, we will catch you in a week or two.